Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. Uh, hope everybody's okay. Uh, I just want to share something with you, just to show you that what I'm saying is important. That I'm not just playing games. That I'm telling the truth about atheism. Um, I'm going to prove it to you. If you're an atheist today and you're open-minded, um, if you've got a Bible in the house, could you go and get your Bible? I'll give you a minute or turn this video off pause it and come back and get 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 your Bible I'm going to prove to you but you need a Bible for me to prove this to you that what I'm saying I know what I'm talking about I mean business and I'm telling you the truth about atheism okay so you got your Bible okay uh, pick any psalm you want Pick a psalm, any psalm you want, and go to that psalm. I'll, I'll pick a psalm, just on, off the top of my head, okay? A Bible passage. Psalm, psalm 23, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's say the psalm that you picked, I, the psalm I picked, I, I picked. Psalm 23 says... Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And whatever your psalm says, okay? Now, you can go and listen to atheist critique that psalm that you've picked and the psalm that I picked, say. Or critique the psalms generally, okay? Now, all I want to say is this. Is that whatever you might read from the atheist, and whatever you might read from the critics, of the, uh, the, the atheist criticisms that the atheists do on the Psalms, for example. This is the kind of reading that I would do if I was counter counteracting or, or, or counteracting um, such criticisms. Okay? Uh, it gives you an idea of the size. This is a, a Bible. Okay. This is this is uh, this commentary is nine hundred over a thousand pages. Okay. It's a massive tomb of a book. <laughs> it's massive. Uh, that's a normal size book. So it just gives you an idea of, of the size. Okay. Now, if I was doing a, a defense of the Psalms against atheism, I would literally consult at least 50 volumes, um, at least, and at least 50 or 60 articles to counteract whatever the atheists were, were saying. Alright? That would be just normal for me. Okay. Now that is why the atheists won't debate me publicly, academically. That is why for two years they've tried to not get involved with me on academic, biblical debates. Because you see, they are not even in the same league when it comes to that kind of scholarship. Not even Aaron Ra. Not even Thunderfoot. Not even theoretical bullshit. Or Big Lundy or... Or whoever. They're not in the same league when it comes to this kind of scholarship. So when it comes to defending Christian doctrine and Christian theology. They know they're up against it. And they really do know it. This is just basic normal stuff for me to consult vast volumes like this in theology or biblical studies. It, it would just be normal. And the reason why the atheists won't get involved with me really deep down is they know that they'll get exposed. That that's their weak point. That they don't really know the Bible. They don't really know biblical scholarship. 
An example of that is Bionic Dance. Um, we had a bit of an exchange once. Um, I made a video about Isaiah 53. She made a video about Isaiah 53. And then I gave a response. But she ran away from the debate. Why? Because she is no way, in any way, equipped to, to deal with a criticism of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah. Whereas I would have vast resources of research material that I would read and she would be out of her depth and she knew it okay so that's my proof my proof is I not only got qualification in theology but I do read the theologians and I do read these books I really do those who know me will tell you that, they, that, I, that I do and I really know my subject and if you get me on theology and in the defense of Christianity and its theological teaching then you're not going to win especially if we do it in a scholarly academic way and so that's why the atheist YouTubers like Aaron Ra and people like that they might laugh and I, and I make some silly videos and I, I, I'm, I'm daft sometimes but when you know you're good at something and I know I'm good at theology I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. I don't wear a tie and a suit to say, look at me, how important I am. I'm just down to earth. And I do, I say silly things and do silly things sometimes. Because I don't, I don't want to pretend to be this great scholar, academic with my tie and suit and all this. But the truth is, atheist, believe it or not, I am the real thing. And deep down, you know that. You know, if you get me on these subjects, you've no chance. So just remember, atheist, when you're mocking, always remember this, that deep down, you never really stood up to the mark. You never really provided proper academic debate and proper opportunity to display proper scholarship in a subject. You never provided that opportunity. Instead what you did is you played games, you played political propaganda tactics, tried to sabotage me, tried to manipulate me, tried to edit my videos, tried to mock me then try to ignore me then try to smear me but what you never did is you never said right Jay show us what you got we're open we want to really get to grips with these issues let's have a proper academic debate and live life and hit slap make an explicit Aaron Ra magic sandwich show you never did that. Instead what you did is you all played games. <laughs> tried to pawn me. Tried to bluster me. Tried to sabotage me. Tried to manipulate my videos. But you never ever was just simply honest and open. For open academic debate. Because. The truth is. That I do know theology. And if it comes to the defense of the resurrection of Christ on an academic level, you wouldn't have a chance. And I'm not just being proud there, I'm just stating a fact. You wouldn't. The best person that I've heard from an atheist perspective on theology is concordance. And to be honest, is a bit of a lightweight. And I'm not just I'm not just saying that. Um, he talks about Ehrman, Bart Ehrman. Uh, and I'm really fired up about him but I eat Bart Ehrman for breakfast I really do um, so just telling you how it is atheist and you should be ashamed of yourself that you're going around attacking Christianity and you're not willing to really stand up to the mark thank you for listening and God bless you